You want to know why I believe that most people will never get started in wholesale and real estate and even more why I believe you'll never get started. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Graylin Stewart. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, I am a virtual wholesaler. We do wholesale and real estate all day, every day in my business. It's our number one strategy. We do it nationwide. And we also do buy and hold, fix and flips, and other things involved in real estate. But today's video, I'm going to talk to you about why I believe that you'll never get started. You know, it's basically because things are holding you back, okay? So not only, and it's not the typical like uh, analysis paralysis, like you're learning forever, because I do believe that that's a reason that people don't get started they want to learn and you know perfect the craft before they ever get started and they never ended up doing it okay but there's actually three actual reasons why I think uh, most people will never get started at all reason number one is uh, it's the fear of failure or the fear of success so you can do fear of failure slash success because people uh, it's a real thing uh, fear oftentimes holds us back from doing what we want to do, doing what we're capable of doing, um, and doing what we're meant to do. So, um, what does that really mean? You know, a lot of people are afraid to get started because they are scared they're going to fail. But you know what? You know, the, the greatest minds out there and the biggest businesses out there, um, they've all failed in some form or fashion before they got to where they actually got uh, where they are today. Or where they ended up being um, but you know so that's just part of it you know you can't be afraid to fail because that's just part of the journey you know and that's the thing you know this is this is definitely you know a long game you know it's not a get rich quick scream like some people think or um, you know like it may seem to some people yes you can make a lot of money quickly but at the same time you know it's not a get rich quick scheme it's a long game um, you know, it's more of a marathon than a sprint, just like owning and operating any business. So if you treat it as such and have your mind already set, um, you know, with that fact in mind, then, you know, it'll be a lot easier to understand that, you know, you're going to have little failures and bumps in the road along the way. And that's part of it. And that's okay. Uh, you know, it's, it's necessary even. Um, you know, you have to go through those different trials tribulations, bumps in the road, whatever you want to call those, you have to go through those to get to where you want to go. That's just the way it is. Um, no matter what you're doing in life, even on a regular nine to five job, you're going to have bumps in the road and failures and fear and things like that. Uh, but you still do it because you want your paycheck, right? Um, the, the only difference is you're doing this for yourself. So yeah, that takes a different type of person. Being an entrepreneur is definitely not for everyone. But for those that actually can get past these three steps I'm going to talk about, I believe that you could succeed. So, um, but then let's talk about fear of success. You know, I mean, that's a real thing too. Like, oh, what if I do really good? You know, what's going to happen? What are people going to think? Um, you know, will I have to quit my nine to five or, you know, all these different things. Um, so I believe that fear of failure is probably bigger, but fear of success, I've seen that in people too. Like, what if I do really good? I kick it off going great and then I just plummet. You know, um, kind of part of my story is, you know, I kicked off really good and, and killed it. And then I stopped my business after five months, after my six figure fifth month even. Um, and I just, I, I worked on rebuilding the business, building systems and processes and all those things. Because uh, I felt it was necessary if I wanted to actually scale it one day. Because um, I was a solopreneur for my first five months. And I was trying to figure out how can I scale this? And actually become an entrepreneur building a team with systems and processes and things that can actually make this machine work so that's what I did so that's fear uh, you know fear of failure fear of success okay number two is you're just afraid of the work you know and that's uh, that's legit too because it takes some huge dedication really long hours and time away from the things that you might want to do um, time away from your kids your wife your family uh, you know, hanging out with friends, um, doing the things that you love. If it's 
basketball, if it's snowboarding, if it's, uh, you know, watching football, you know, whatever it is, you're going to have to put those things aside for a short little while, um, you know, but it's just a short time of, of going through that pain for a long time of, you know, reaping the benefits because of that. So, um, yeah, so that's what it is. You know, a lot of people are afraid of the work because it is, it's hard work. And maybe it's holding you back because you're like, okay, whenever I have time, you know, I'll start doing that. Or I know it's going to take a lot of work. So once I am dedicated and putting myself out there and ready to actually put that work in, that's when I get started, you know. Um, so that's huge. I've seen that with people. They're just flat scared of the work. Um, so, yeah, it's all, it's all mindset again. Uh, you know, change your mindset and just know that it's going to take hard work, dedication. It's going to take um, time away from your family and the things that you love. But that's, again, that's temporary for, you know, potentially a lifetime of fulfillment. So that thing right there holds people back. Um, just the fact that they, it's not that they don't want to work, but you're just afraid of the hard work because you know the commitment it really is going to be. But you got to be willing to do that. If you want to get to where you want to go, you know, simple as that. Uh, the last one is, which I've talked about this on my my actual step-by-step um, -step wholesale training that I give away for free on this channel, um, but it's having a deadline. So whether that's a deadline to quit your job or a deadline that you want to do X, Y, Z, you know, in the business to, to kind of get to where you want to go, having goals, you know, that kind of thing. Um, for example, Let's say that, okay, I'm starting this wholesale and real estate journey today, um, but I have no clear deadline or goals in mind. Um, so I end up doing analysis paralysis or uh, I'm scared of the work or potentially I don't want to fail or maybe I'll do too good, you know, and then people expect me to do that all the time. Um, but, you know, you got to have a goal in mind. You got to have a deadline, in my opinion, um, if, especially if you have a nine to five. Okay. I'm going to do this as a side hustle and 12 months from today, if I make X amount of dollars for three months in a row, then I'm going to quit my job. So for example, uh, it's, it's January of 2022. So basically by October, if I want, if I'm going to make 10,000 a month in October, 10,000 November, 10,000 December. So next January, I'm going to quit my job because I reached those goals. So it's a deadline that you're putting on yourself. I think people work, better having deadlines in mind and knowing where they want to go uh, because how can you get somewhere if you don't know where you're going right so you have to have goals and deadlines set for yourself so that's my opinion on the top three reasons why you'll probably never start because those three things are huge you know um, and I didn't even talk about really mindset is probably the biggest thing you really have to get your mind right to even get to any of those steps if you really want to end up doing this for a living. So let's go over them again. Fear of failure or success, uh, afraid of the work, or clear deadlines and goals, okay? So get those things right. If you can get over those things and get started, then I do believe you can succeed in this business. But those are the reasons why I believe that you'll probably never get started. So anyways, that's my two cents. Drop me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Are you stuck in some of these? Or have you not started because of some of these reasons? Um, or maybe it's something else for you. But give me a comment, uh, give me a like, subscribe if you stuck around this long. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you in the next video.